Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to A Brilliant Businesses podcast. My name is Nick Bryant, and I'm very pleased to be joined today by Cal Sinfield. Hello, Cal. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Very good, thank you. Good, thank you for coming in. So, Cal's business is called Kangaroo Connections. Uh, we're going to get into why it's called Kangaroo a little bit later. Um, it is essentially a social media management company. Yeah. Um, and I really like what you've got on your website. It says, we do the hard work while you grow your business. Because um, like we were saying earlier, it's fair to say that businesses don't want to do their own social media sometimes or they don't know how to. It's important they concentrate on working on what, what they're good at and outsource the social media to you guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, we'll get into that as well, but let's, let's start off, Cal, by your background um, and how you got into doing this. Go back as far as you like. Uh, okay. Um, I think probably the, you go back when I was uh, learning to be who I who, learned to be me I wanted oh. to be a manager okay I don't know why yeah. uh, I, I wanted to did a, tell <laughs> someone what to do type yeah. thing you know and, and I was one of those that had those managers through the years that you could look back on and go glad I didn't do it like him okay or, yeah. or that's how I not want to do it so yeah. I got into management I worked for a great um, manufacturing company in Hastings uh, I had a, a team of um, between 10 and 15 telesales executives in the customer service department and, um, and it was great. I loved it, management, and um, it, it did everything I wanted it to do. Very happy. Okay. Um, life went through one of its changes like it does, you know, uh, and uh, we just ended up not working together anymore after 10 years. Yeah. And, and that's when life took that big turn, you know, as to are you going to be a business owner? Um, nothing that I'd ever even considered because uh, I always wanted to be that manager. Yeah, okay. Um, and... Um, uh, I found myself in a position where um, life had taken a big turn. Uh, I was unemployed um, and probably unemployable because of the salary that I'd got myself to. Okay. Um, and um, I went down to Wales to see my sister, spend some time with her, and it was uh, what we're going to do next. Right. And, um, she dared me to uh, run my own business. <laughs> um, and it was a dare. And, yeah. and, you know, the reality was back then, crikey especially seven years on now jesus i didn't know anything back yeah, then yeah. compared to what i don't know now <laughs> um, but uh, that's how it progressed really you know I'm, I'm a social person so social media was something i was interested in um i was the person that was sharing my dinner plates and sunrises and uh, been okay. a walk yeah still do it now yes but um that was me and it, and it was just something that you know i'd been working hard in my businesses to uh, develop myself um become a networker and things so social networking was um just a natural progression really mm. and that's how it started and um over the the last seven years um had um uh, a business back at, at the time which was social b um it was a fantastic business so i enjoyed running that yeah and um and then i bought into another business which was a franchise um, so things were going well. I was two or three years in, yeah. being a business owner, no idea what I was doing, um, but doing it nonetheless, yeah. Yeah. you know, and, um, and then COVID hit and, right. uh, you know, uh, life threw another curveball and, um, you know, yeah, we all did what we did, got through it, uh, ended up at the bottom of a bottle of wine <laughs> every now and of then. Course, and, yeah. um, you know, uh, and life took another big turn, but uh, yeah, still on the same path, really. I, I, when I uh, people ask me about my company and that now, it's uh, I'm a bit like Trigger's broom. Uh, it's the same broom. It's had a few different handles, a few different right. uh, brushes. I see. But uh, at the end of the day, it's still me. Yeah. Um, and it's still social media. Yeah. Okay. And so, why why Kangaroo Connections? What's the Kangaroo bit? So um, we. After Social B, we had to close Social B down and I, I felt like I floundered around for a little while. Social yeah. B at the time was my gimmick. I was the buzzy guy. You know, everyone right. tell you buzzed into every room that you okay. went into and so on. Yeah. Um, and I think with any, like anything with, with a business or whatever, you do need a gimmick. You do need something to mm. make people or help people remember who you are and so on. Um, I'm originally from Australia, okay. um, so the kangaroo um, sort of fits there, really. And, and it was a it was a brainstorming um, between uh, my son, who's 13, Hayden, um, and uh, Danny the Idiot, as you know, children's entertainer. Yes. Um, I remember us walking around Asda, and we were literally just chucking ideas at, together. You know, uh, I said I wanted something that was about me, so it was Australia. Then we started talking about colours, green and gold, and, and uh, you know, that was something that was flowing quite nicely then we said oh you know you connect people through social media i do networking events as well and and suddenly it, it sounds really corny but it happened and it was yeah. like 
oh my god I love that yeah. <laughs> and then when we started penciling it and, and I, I uh, this time around I, I took the decision to do things properly so I had a proper graphic designer help me out mm -hmm. things like that so when she produced the logo and everything oh my god the excitement between us all really yeah. because of what we suddenly created I think it just had a bit more excitement a bit more of a vision of of what I wanted mm. so the kangaroo now is my gimmick and it's it's everywhere once you see that and when you've decided on some branding and it's sent to you that's almost like that's like the beginning isn't it it's like well I've got that now it's just build on everything else yeah because I still have it when I get it put on the edge of a I've got it on my car at the moment the logo across my car yeah you know seven years on in my business but I still look at it and think wow that's amazing yeah. I, you know I'm proud of it yeah um, and I think probably as a business owner I was only talking to a graphic designer the other day and I think if you fall out of love with your business mm. it's really important that you reinvent it oh, true yeah um, and reinventing mm. it for me it was very much um, something about me the colors my, mm. my passions um, but continuing to do what I enjoy I enjoy helping businesses with social media I still like social media for the in the main mm. um, and um, it just started making sense and since since that day really um, it's just felt right yeah it's another situation where covid has forced people someone you yep. um, to actually do something a little bit better and a little bit different and uh, you know in a in a stronger way isn't yeah, it and i think I, I feel really lucky because i feel like i've been given a, a second chance at opening yeah. a new business mm. but this year we're at oh, this time with five years experience let's yes. say yeah, yeah. so mistakes of maybe bits of software that I did, I used or not having a bookkeeper and an accountant yeah. and things. I haven't, I'm not making those mistakes this time. So no. it feels like I'm doing it properly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk a bit about what you actually do and how you help yeah. businesses. I mean, social media management, just tell us exactly how that works. Yeah, so we just do the management. Okay. Um, and actually, that's only come out in the last few months that we even have um, become more confident about what we're saying. We don't do anything else. No paid adverts. Um, I can do some training and things if people want us to, but that's not what we promote. Mm. We will literally help business owners with their social media. We'll take it off their hands if they want to. Okay. Um, more often than not, that is what their business owners want. Yeah. They know that it's a big part of their business, mm. or it should be. Mm. Um, and they also, uh, as time goes on, find out that it's quite time to consume if you do it properly. Yeah. Um, whether that comes down to designing uh, you know, your brand and having that follow through all your adverts and your website and so on. Um, it's not as simple as one of the girls in the front office can put mm. a post on. Mm. Yeah. And you know, that's so common, you know, whole, a team of three and the bookkeeper's doing the social yeah. media as well because yeah. she got dumped with it. And, and, and that's often the way it happens. Mm. Um, but when they realize that, um, that once you start doing it properly, it takes a bit of time and energy. Yeah. So we do that for them. Uh, there's a team of three of us, um, three and a half probably, and um, we create all the content. Um, we... Um, uh, schedule all the posts we interact with clients uh, we source reviews uh, respond to reviews which is really important how many mm -hmm. times you go on Google and see people leaving reviews for a customer for a business yeah. and then they're, no they're not even saying thank you yeah, um, I think it's crazy mm -hmm. so we do all of that well, I think there are other agents so it's like the social side of social media isn't it yeah, yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. I mean there's still limitations to what an outsourced agency can do but mm -hmm. the more we can do we try to do as much as possible because at the end of the day, if you're handing something over, mm. you want it looked after. Yeah, definitely. Um, how do you, do, you, do you come up with a problem sometimes where um, a business might say, well, you don't know anything about my business. How can you write about my business and present it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And at the beginning, and when we first started, we probably learned some mistakes in dealing with those, mm. kind, those kind of businesses because actually what they were looking to do was hand over their social media and not having any involvement. Right. Yeah, yeah. Off you go. Yeah. Make it happen. And then, and <laughs> Work then, the miracles. Yeah. Well, and, and then they're saying, oh, well, you know, we're not seeing much on our social media or we don't like what you're posting or whatever. And it's like, well, yeah, but you don't talk to us. Mm. Um, mm. So now a big part of our onboarding or when I have my sales calls is very much like, yes, we're going to do all this for you, but we still need to hear from you on a regular basis. Okay. And yep. that can, often that's just seeds. Mm. You know, um, a good social media, some good content can come from turning around and saying, oh, uh, in fact, one of my clients this week has been out helping um, to build a playground 
um, all for charity and things. And yeah. they've been sending us pictures as they go. And it's fantastic That's perfect, content. isn't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. But without those seeds, mm. I couldn't have created that post. No, um, no. It's got to be original to the client, isn't it? And if you start using generic images, it just takes that away. Yeah. yeah. Helping them understand that, because the general, or often the comeback there would be, Oh, well, hold on. If I'm sending it to you, shouldn't I just post it myself? It myself? Yeah. Um, of which my response now is, yes, quite right. Um, <laughs> but you're not going to, no. so send it to me. Yeah. Um, or the, or the, the, the accounts lady or the maid who makes the tea will, will forget. It'll fall down the bottom yeah. of the pile. And, and often, you know, I have um, tradesmen that I work with. You know, they can be up a ladder all day, taking lots of pictures, befores and afters, things like that. Mm. They stay in their phone. You know, mm. they go home, they fall asleep, whatever it might be, where we, all of our clients have a WhatsApp group set up where um, right. myself and my team um, and, uh, you know, it could be you and two or three others all in the group. Yeah. It's, it's a dumping ground for a want of words, really. Okay. You know, they, they literally are planting seeds. So this is a picture from a networking event today. Bang, off you go. Right. We will do the rest. Yeah. Um, yeah. And once they realize that then they do need that input because it's quite important, but they're not actually doing it themselves. Yeah. They, they get it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And um, as far as platforms, um, all of them, yeah. Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram? Yeah, I mean... TikTok? Um, and <laughs> challenging. I have to think of my age. Um, <laughs> so the team are all a bit younger than me. Right, and they're, yeah. they're, they're great. They're yeah. up to speed with a lot of these things. Mm. Outsourcing things like TikTok and Reels can be very difficult okay. um, because you do, you do then come back to, okay, we need video, video content um, yeah. and we need a bit more animation of what's going on in a business. So that can be difficult. Mm -hmm. Mainly for my customers, it's Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Okay. Um, I think I've got one on X now, yeah. Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and to be honest, they're using that just to um, churn out information from their business, okay. blogs and newsletters and things like that. Right, right. No interaction. I no. mean, how, how the platform's sort of still going, I'm not really sure, I know. but yeah. it has a place. Yeah, I, I use it for brilliant businesses and I, and I tweet, if that's what you call it now, maybe you call it X. Why do, what do you, do? We, you still call it tweet, that's you why it's, call a, it tweet. It, yeah. it's a weird marketing <laughs> campaign, isn't it? But yeah. we all talk about it. Yeah, um, and I don't really get much from it. It's almost <laughs> like um, it's, it's part, of the, part of the package that you feel like you've got to do. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it, when clients come to us, we had a client recently we were doing Pinterest for, um, it just depends on what they want. Um, yeah. But we try and help them understand where their audience is. That's really important to us. You know, very early on, it, it's important to ask them, you know, okay, you might turn around to me and say, I really like Instagram, Kyle. That's where I hang out. Yeah, yeah. That's great. But where are your customers? Yeah. Because if your customers aren't on Instagram, no you're in trouble. Yeah. You're wasting your time. So when a customer comes to me and says, oh, we want to be on TikTok, you get it because that's what they're all talking about. Yeah. But in reality, is that where their customers are? I have uh, a client that um, likes to post on Snapchat, mm. spends a lot of time on Snapchat doing stories and things. Um, but the main is that no one's reading them. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. It's a waste but of time. That's just part of it. Yeah. yeah. Facebook still has a place. Absolutely. Um, yeah. you know, it does everything that all of the other platforms does. Mm. Um, and that's why it still continues to grow. Yes, yeah. the audience uh, demographic may change from time to time, yeah. but it's still growing. It's yeah. still where everyone hangs out. It is, yeah. Now, we had a conversation a couple of weeks ago about there's lots of people out there that do social media. Yeah, for sure. um, Some of them hopefully do a good job um, and as, as good a job as you do. Um, so it makes it hard for people to choose who they use for social media, but it moves on to relationships, doesn't it? Because you do a lot of networking. Yeah. You're a big member of BNI and you have a big part of role in that, which is really important. So... That's important to you because people get to know you, they want to work with you, they trust you, and that's uh, a good way, and that's the way you see about people coming to use you through social media. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, your personality. Yeah. You are a larger than life character. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know, I remember being asked um, uh, early on in business coaching and things like that, or oh, what, what makes you different to everyone else? Yeah. And, and being told off for that answer of, well, me. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a obvious. rubbish answer. <laughs> and, and, but... You know, look, I work really hard being myself, being true, being, you know, the larrikin that I am. No, no airs, no graces. I mean, my partner, Claire, she says, oh, you've been out networking. Have you put a performance on today type thing? <laughs> yeah. um, but I love that. Yeah. But what that means is that hopefully um, people can trust me. Uh, they know that I'm going to do a decent enough job for them. Mm. I'm going to look after their company and their brands and, and things. Um, you know, I, I've recently started working with an accountant. Um, right. I started working with an accountant because she came to me and she dumbed it down for me. Okay. Um, and, and that's what I think business is about and who we decide we work with. Mm. Um, because if an accountant came to me 
wowed me with figures. I'd, I'd lose interest. I wouldn't want to work with them because mm. they just, uh, it, it wouldn't suit me. And I like to think that that's what I do about business as well. Yeah. You know, I make me feel comfortable when people turn around and say, oh, you know, what's your contract? I ask for six months, but I'm a grown up. If after a couple of months you don't want to do it, we, don't, we stop doing it. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Because my reputation's worth a lot more to me, but also I'd hope that someone would do that to me as well. Yes. You yeah. know, if, if something wasn't working, have an adult conversation. It's not working. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, treat it like a grown up, and treat it like like you're dealing with friends as well. Um, For sure, networking is dealing with friends and business owners, isn't it? Well, I do a lot of networking, but mm. referrals is a big part of my business, mm. um, and I would say that pretty much all of my clients have come from a referral. Okay. Um, um, my recent that- one, she's down in Dorset. Um, a friend of mine said, "Oh, I know someone that does this, that, and the other down in Dorset. Could you help?" Yeah. Yes, of course I can. We've chatted. We're working together. Happy days, but. I wouldn't have got that lead if it wasn't for that referral. If it wasn't for that referral, mm. so by being nice to people, being friendly, looking out for people, Kale, I can't get to the meeting today. Could you give us a lift? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, don't get me wrong. I wish I could say no more often, <laughs> um, but you know, keep looking out for people, and it will come back to you. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think? Um, what What's the future for you guys for yep. social for social media and for Kangaroo Connections? What, well, social what, media isn't going anywhere. No, it's not. Is it? It's growing and growing. Huh? It will continue to grow. I think it goes ups and downs as you know, of what we like to see on mm-hmm. social media. You know, at the moment, we haven't come out of COVID. We still want to see people. We joke about the dinner plates and things like that, but we mm. actually quite like that at the yeah, moment. Absolutely. Um, because we, you know, we're getting in touch with people we lost contact with, um, and it still has a place. I feel for business owners because they, the platforms are making it more and more difficult yeah. to get your message across yeah. without spending any kind of money. Mm. <coughs> We've spent a long time saying social media is free, but it isn't. No. Uh, you know, what They're finding their ways of taking money of us, even if it's down to verifying your profile for £10 a month, please. But yeah. it's not free anymore, is no, it? No, no. Um, as far as the business is concerned, you know, I hope it continues to grow. Um, you know, I, and my partner, Claire, we're... we're um, you know, we want to do things in our future. Mm. Um, now I know that my business is strong, probably stronger than it's ever been. You know, I want it to be part of our of our future. Yeah. Um, I'd like to travel a bit more, things like that. I never thought, what, two or three years ago that I would have a team. No. I thought it would just be me. Yeah. Um, and now, you know, honestly, the, the, the team are better at me than a lot of things. Well, that's, which is that's great. good, isn't it? Yeah, that's for sure. Good. They've taught me things. Um, you know, uh, I have Nadine and Bianca at the moment, both actually fantastic with Kim as well. And they, um, they've given me the confidence to know that actually I can grow my business now yeah. because I was quite happy. Yeah. You know, it was me. I yeah. had a salary, yeah. um, had weekends, a yeah. couple of holidays, but now they're doing such a good job without me day to day involved. Yeah. I'm out networking now. I'm growing the business now. So in a few years time, if I wanted to step back even further, I actually think that's possible. And I didn't think that way. Yeah. You've, you've got to a point now where it's a really, really strong business model where you've got people doing the work and you're out selling the work. <laughs> yeah. um, so you're not actually, you know, if, if you were, if you're making pies, you're not making the pies, you're going out and selling the pies. It, it's but it, it was really strange. And about a year ago, I took on a big client um, mm. and um, it, it put a, a cash injection into the business every month. Yeah. And instead of maybe the way I'd have done it in the past and sort of taking out a little bit of extra salary, yeah. um, I said, no, let's just put this back in. And we took on our first full timer. Nice. Um, and the minute that that happened, suddenly I was back out networking. Yeah. And then guess what happened? I took on more clients. Yeah, right. And um, for ages I've been saying, I need to be out there more. Yeah. But because I was stuck behind my desk doing the do, mm. Um, mm. the business wasn't growing. Mm. Um, now the business continues to grow. Yeah, um, yeah. I get surprises all the time where I get invited out for coffee. It only happened yesterday afternoon and I walk away with a gig. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't see that coming. Mm. But because I now am not glued to my desk all the time, sat behind the bloody screen, yeah. um, the business is different so yeah. now it's a, it was really a case of well I can grow the business now mm. and I want to mm. um, I certainly wouldn't um, I wouldn't lose the staff now we'd, we'd find a way to keep them going yeah because yeah. I know how important it is that I'm off doing other things yeah it really gives you the flexibility which I think is really really cool actually especially with a social media business because you mentioned earlier about travelling and you can do that even mm-hmm. if you are going to get on the tools if you like you can do that from anywhere yeah, yeah. Um, and you're in a situation where someone says 
can we have a coffee this afternoon? I said, you can, you can go because you haven't got me doing the Facebook posts or the tweets or the whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, and I would, have, I would have gotten to a point a year or two ago when I'd have been out for coffees and things thinking, Jesus, I've got a lot I've to do. I've got to get back. Yeah. yeah. And there's things that, That's stressful. There's things that need doing. Mm. Um, but now I also, a bit like you asked why people want to work with me and stuff, yeah. sometimes people do just want to bend my ear. Right. Um, and when they do, they think, well, they realise that I can help. Mm. And then often down the line, it will turn into business. Yeah. Yeah, um, well, I'm fortunate. Yeah, well, that's how it works, isn't it? Networking as well. It's it's building those friends and building those relationships. No like and trust, all yep. those things. Yeah, for sure. Um, what what's what what do you get from it the most? What's the best bit of what you do? Why do you like it so much? Um, Satisfaction. I, I do like it's corny. I do like helping people. Yeah, that's really nice. And yeah. to hear when someone comes up to me, only happened a month or two ago. Someone said, "Oh, you know, I, I'm never sure what this social media is doing for me. This, that, and the other." Yeah. <coughs> someone said oh, I see your posts everywhere um, well that's good I've done that for yeah, them you yeah. know, it's something that they don't need to do and when they're saying business is good or I see my face everywhere now that must be your doing or you know that's, I enjoy doing it yeah. you know and, and as I said I didn't know I was going to be a business owner no I like I actually quite like it now yeah, you yeah, know yeah. I, I like being a business owner I can yeah. go and do my networking see my friends or you know, their colleagues, associates, friends, however you want to word it, but I get to see them whenever I want. Yeah. Um, and I enjoy giving a good service. Good. A question popped into my head when, when you were speaking there about, because um, I think some business owners expect that if they do a bit of social media, the phone's going to start ringing and they're going to get lots of bookings. Yeah. Or they see, like we were saying earlier, some business owners call Facebook posts ads and they're not ads. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you, if someone says to you, um, how do you measure the ROI on what you do, how do you answer that? Honestly. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I okay. Do. Yeah. And I'll say I can't. Yeah, okay. Um, and, then, and let me explain, you know, you go back. Well, I used to sell newspaper advertising years and years ago. Yeah. And that was, you know, quarter page advert with a, oh, use this coupon and, and you'll get 10% off or whatever. The yeah. days of responding to an ad like that are long, long gone. Absolutely. But as we just talked about with networking and things, actually, the more you see somebody, the more you see their brand, their mm. colors, whatever it be, mm. the more chances you're going to think of using their services. Yeah, yeah. So I try to say to customers, in fact, my closing line is always, I guarantee you one thing and one thing only, I'll make more noise than you can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And when, when I tell people that, I go, well, yeah, that's typical you, isn't it? <laughs> but, but really, they don't have the time or energy mm. to put into social media what I will put into social media for their businesses. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you see, if you've got, like my business, green, yellow, green and gold, um, it's everywhere. Yeah. Even down to the T-shirt I put on for Christ's sake. Yeah. You know, it's everywhere. Mm. But that's my brand now. So when people say, Jesus, I see you everywhere, they haven't seen me. They haven't seen me for ages. Yeah, right. They but, um, but, they I, but I'm everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's what I do for business owners. So, yeah. you know, uh, people that come to me, I say, there are other agencies. Yes, they may wow you with graphs and charts and mm -hmm. ROIs and all of this. Yeah, I hate that word. I'm a little I bit more genuine, I think. Yeah. And I say, I tell you what, I'll make more noise than you. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the answer. Uh, and it's you're doing something that they probably wouldn't have been doing as well as you know so you're well, saving them even right. just down to remembering to do these social media yeah. posts you know yeah. I'll make sure that you have two or three posts a week minimum yeah oh well I haven't got time for that myself no you haven't no. that's why it makes sense yeah. that I do it that's why it makes sense that I have an accountant Absolutely. so that when my accounts went in a couple of months ago yeah. they were right <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's business, actually, isn't it? It's a lot of outsourcing. It's really important. I've learned that. Yeah. At the beginning, I, I tried to do everything myself. Yeah, you can't. You know, so when I started again under Kangaroo Connections, I got help wherever I could, even mm. down to staff members or accountants or you know whatever it might be. Yeah. You know, have people around you that can help. Yeah, definitely. Really important. Definitely. Um, what sort of clients are you looking for? Does it matter? Is there certain niches? Um, no, I don't. I mean, as long as they talk to me, it doesn't really matter. We okay. can work with anyone. We've done very well with trades, yeah. um, you know, the builders, the plumbers, the electro electricians, because they do take befores and afters. They do have lots of images and, yeah. and work that they can, uh, you know, that they have that they don't show off enough. Yeah. Um, we're doing quite well with financial companies at the moment. Okay. Uh, just because a lot of their posts needs uh, official approval from maybe their head offices and things like that. So. Right. Uh, we will step in and be that middleman of getting those posts approved. We've learned over the last sort of year what you're allowed to say, not allowed to say, promises that you shouldn't be making as a financial company and so on. Yeah. But we can help with anyone. We've just okay. taken on a new aesthetics company. Um, we've uh, got an Airbnb in recently. Actually, yesterday's call was a builder. Okay. Um, 
you know, and, we literally, because I think because we don't specialize, mm. um, we, we really can help anyone. Yeah. Um, as long as they talk to us, they, you know, they have an idea of what they want to do. You know, the builder yesterday knows what he wants. Okay. Knows the noise that he wants to make. Knows mm. the, even down to the, um, we were putting a plan together of what he wants to say. Yeah. But he just doesn't have the time or the energy. No, he's busy, busy building, yeah. isn't he? Well, yeah, but even down to the girl in the office again, he said, I want her on the phone. Yeah. I don't, not on her phone glued to social media. No, no, That's no. often what would happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I want her doing other things. Good. Well, he gets it, doesn't he? He's a good example. Absolutely. A good example of a good client. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And back yeah. at the beginning, I would take clients that wanted a haggle over price mm. and they wanted this, that and the other. And mm. you know, now I can choose my customers as well. So I want to speak to business owners that want to make a bit more noise. Excellent. So anyone out there that's got a business and is not doing social media or have got someone who's not really working with it, then please get in touch with Kale. Yeah, for sure. Um, website, kangaroconnections.co.uk? Yep. It's okay. just being rebuilt at the moment. It okay. should be live by the end of the week, hopefully. Um, okay. But yeah. So people can get you through that. Yeah. We'll put the details underneath this podcast so people can get you through that. Great. Um, and... Um, Thank you, Kel. It's been Thanks really great time. talking to you. I see you at networking a lot, and you're such a cheerful chap. And it, you, you've, got, you've got a lovely smile. You, you, you come across really, really cheerful, and yeah, I love that. And that's great. I work yeah. really hard for that. But yeah. I think people underestimate sometimes. Even I can stand outside a networking room and feel the need to take a deep breath. Yes. <laughs> and then when I finish the networking, go, oh, God. Yeah, thanks, so. yeah. I'll go home now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, brilliant. Thank you again, Thanks and we'll time. see you all for another podcast soon. Thank you.